What I could tell you about H2A now is that any program that comes to uh, land without any kind of overseeing in terms of how the workers are doing in these operations, uh, nobody to watch over them and their rights is going to result in catastrophe. And we've seen it in the two last cases of modern day slavery uh, that we have been involved in helping workers. Uh, one of them, Blooming Onion, involving more than 71,000 workers. And it is in a span of about eight years since we received the first call from one of them. And because of the lack of access into these operations, uh, it's a very difficult place to investigate. It took, you know, uh, several years uh, and it impacted uh, this amount of uh, workers that resulted in uh, profits uh, of money laundering from this criminal organization of more than $200 million. Another case happened in Pahokee, Florida. Um, the Blooming Onion was Vidalia, Georgia. Uh, and in this case, they were selling the uh, watermelons to Kroger uh, as a supermarket. Uh, that was the first time that that connection between the market and these horrible conditions came to light. And uh, we will continue to see those cases as long as we don't create protections that are effective for workers. That's why we do uh, the work of applying the Fair Food Program, which is something that we created in our own community by starting in 2001 with Taco Bell. Uh, 2005, we reached the first agreement. Then with McDonald's, Burger King, Subway, Whole Foods, uh, all of the biggest uh, food providers like Compass Group, Automark, Sodexo, uh, including Walmart. So there's 14 corporations that conditioned the purchasing to the implementation of the code of conduct that was created in Imokali, Florida by us as workers. And it's been implemented uh, with the protections you know, against retaliation so workers can speak up. More than 4,000 complaints have been filed, all of them investigated and resolved. Uh, 10 problems identified in that process of investigation, and that uh, has resulted in the creation of a new uh, reality for workers in, I would say, 11 states uh, uh, or 10 states at, at, uh, in the lapse of, you know, this past uh, 12 years now. Uh, it's going to be 12 years uh, since we started to implement this. So, you know, there, uh, workers under H2A. Um, working on these farms have guarantee uh, rights that they can, you know, assert by simply calling the hotline. They have all the rights and they have a premium that comes from the market addressing the issue that you were mentioning earlier. You know, uh, workers who found themselves in operations outside of the fair food program, um, they find a lot of wage theft, a lot of situations of abuse, violence, sexual harassment, uh, all degradating things that are happening to our communities. Inside the program, the law has to be respected, so the contracts uh, that they sign onto, for instance, is uh, something that it's uh, also overviewed uh, for compliance in terms of the Fair Food Program.